I prepare like De Niro. I lived with a family of parrots for a year. And uh, no, I, I did no preparation. I just went in and just had fun with it. My agent called me and said they're holding auditions for a voice for this new Disney animated feature, Aladdin. Jeez, where'd you dig this bozo up? They auditioned me, and among the others they auditioned was um, Joe Pesci and Danny DeVito. And so the search was on for short, unattractive Jews and Italians. So I went in and I auditioned for it and uh, just, you know, sat in front of the mic and I read from the script and then as I was reading the script, I started improvising and playing with it and having fun. I remember they said to me, they said, uh, before we record anything new, do you want to see what we did so far? And from the, just from the audition, they did a, a very, you know, a cheap primitive uh, pencil animation on film of, of the parrot. And they took my, my uh, recordings from the audition and matched it up to that. And I remember that was the first time I saw it. And I saw the parrot walking around and, and going like that and my voice coming out. And that, that was pretty amazing the first time. And then I stuffed the crackers down his throat. <laughs> the main animator that for, for my character of Iago was Will Finn. When they f recorded the movie, they had a camera on me. They had a camera on all the voiceover people. And so that way they would watch the way your mouth moved and the way you moved around in general, your body movements, and they would match it to the character. And Will said that he wanted it to design it as much like me. And he even showed me a picture, a board that he drew, where he has a caricature of me on one end, and it's sort of in like, three or four boxes transforms into the parrot. So it had like black eyebrows and, and you know, was moving its hands like that. And, uh, so he, he liked to match it to me. And that was, that was, that was fun to know. I remember the movie came out and it was a, a monster hit. And, and I still, I, when I look at my career and I, I look at that and I go, okay, that one, I know for a fact is a quality work. It, it's funny. I don't know how many stories I've heard over the years of like, hey, uh, when they were making Aladdin, when you put Gilbert Gottfried and Robin Williams together under that mic, that was insanity. They should just release that. And I never once worked with Robin Williams during the making of Aladdin. I, I would, I, you know, I'd run into him at the comedy clubs and everything, and, but I, never once during Aladdin did we ever work together.